Hello, Earth Signs. Welcome back to my channel, Presence of a Goddess. Thank you guys for joining me today. Today is just going to be a general message for my Earth Signs. So if it resonates, awesome. I appreciate if you subscribe, like, and share to those who you think it resonate too. I do appreciate you, tribe. If it does not resonate, I do apologize. You can check other placements in your chart. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, the link is down below per usual. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. This is for my Taurus, Capricorn, and my Virgos. Okay, I'm going to be doing something different. I'm going to be using my Ghetto Oracle card deck first and then use my Tarot to clarify okay i don't know why her team is for the team okay i don't know what that means Bear, what do you have oh, yep because look i have union okay maybe um i am ready to make you mine now so by somebody wants to uh, wants to be a team with you okay let's see or sign somebody somebody has like a lot of kids here yeah have heartbreak hotel you've been hurt by this person possibly yeah spiritual awakening i just saw 111 when i said spiritual awakening so i feel like somebody's going through a spiritual awakening here okay yeah my how the tables turn one two one okay take care of yourself first then others okay then i have mistress Somebody could have been a mistress here. Yeah. I have fortune. So let's clear. And then I have yin and yang. So somebody wants to be a team with you. Yin, yang, and union. Okay. Somebody's a mistress here. So you could have been found out that you were a mistress. Or you could have found out about a mistress here. I'm also getting like, yeah, because Heartbreak Hotel. I'm getting that song. This is the Heartbreak Hotel. <laughs> what you do to me <laughs> baby what you do <laughs> so i feel like um it's not funny y'all but you know you gotta laugh to keep from crying here i feel like um don't take things serious that's the message i'm getting as well it's kind of like don't be so hard on yourself don't be so hard about the situation okay yeah somebody was definitely um having sex outside of the union out of outside of a relationship here okay okay this could even been a friend who was having sex with your person here somebody who called themselves a friend somebody very promiscuous okay um the mistress is very promiscuous since she was a young man. yeah five of cups because they had no love okay i feel like this person is a side chick is a mistress um with the five of cups and the princess of wands this is someone who doesn't get the you know they're part of their groupies so this is a team okay so somebody had groupies here had a whole football team yeah somebody was definitely a player with the nine of cups here somebody felt fulfilled when they nut okay that's what i'm getting hell but somebody had a spiritual awakening can you tell me more about this spiritual awakening spirit i don't know why we have to know this yeah eight of cups spiritual awakening so you had to walk away from this person this was your spiritual awakening okay why but somebody want to come into a union with you okay spirit can you tell me more about this union yeah, yeah. i feel like uh you walking away from this person this ex here this past person gained you spiritual awakening and now you're about to come into a union with someone who is on your soul level okay i'm also getting if this is not a relationship this could also be um like your your purpose here you're finding out what your purpose is here and you're you're walking into it yeah four of wands your purpose you're happy what makes you happy some of you guys are gonna this is gonna end in marriage here with the union card this is a celebration this is a marriage ceremony with the four of wands this is a fiance whatever this is it's a next level of commitment with the hermit and the two of cups okay you guys are gonna go in like some type of retreat here some of you guys are going to be like in a relationship you want to go ghost and that's what i'm getting like some of you guys could be virgos but i feel like you're going to learn something like this is a spiritual awakening whatever this relationship is okay it's going to be like a twin flame connection here with the sun card it could be with a leo but i feel like this is just a uh, something that's going to make like i'm getting sun god Ra here so this is definitely a uh, past life love i'm also getting this is 
a confident love. So you guys are going to be happy. I just saw 444. Four, 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 four. So that's confident love. That's happiness. This is a union. This is a marriage. With the four of wands and the two of cups, this is a soulmate. Okay, I feel like when they drink it out of cup, this is at a wedding. Okay, somebody's going to have a wedding here. Take care of yourself first, then others. I feel like that's a that's emphasis on self-care here. Okay, so I feel like you need to treat yourself right. So when that person come in, you know, you know what you want. You know what you need. You're going to voice that. And they're going to give it to you or they're going to fucking get the fuck out of here. Because I feel like you're not settling for less no more. And you have every right not to. Okay, you deserve happiness. You deserve marriage. You deserve someone who loves you as much as um, you love them. I feel like also here, this is an energy of somebody walking away from a marriage and going towards their true divine. If it's not that, it's walking towards their purpose. Okay, and away, and away from toxic people. Okay, with the Six of Cups here. I feel like it's all three for some of you guys. <laughs> with the Six of Cups here, somebody has children. Okay, children. Can you tell me more? Okay, Six of Swords, Six, Six. So, this is you walking into a healthy relationship or you have a healthy relationship with your children as well. So, I feel like a lot of relationships around you is going to heal here. It's either going to heal or be removed, okay? Either way it goes, your um, energy is being elevated because you're you're not living in a toxic environment or being around toxic people with the Queen of Cups here. I feel like you're learning how to preserve your energy with the Star card here. I feel like you're not contacting those many people. You're being very reserved with your energy here because you, you're you waiting for that one. I'm feeling like you're praying upon, you're praying and you're healing your energy as well as removing energy. I feel like that's what it is. And you're healing relationships as well. I feel like the ones that are more important to you right now. But I'm also getting here like... Um, yeah, you're working on yourself because you know that once you come at a high vibration, somebody at a high vibration is going to come towards you. I told you, this could be a, a Scorpio or this could be you killing your ego here with the five of wands. Because maybe you feel like, I don't know if you get in a, a lot of fights. I feel like fights are going to be resolved with the king of swords, with the king of pentacles as well and the eight of swords. These are a lot of like people that's trying to like keep you stuck here. But I feel like... um. Yeah, I told you, not a sword. Somebody's trying to keep you stuck because somebody's being very spiteful. But they're not stopping this union anymore, okay? Somebody's definitely uh, stabbing you in the back. Because why am I itching my back? Yeah, the Hierophant and the Hangman and the King of Wands. This, re this divine relationship is not going, like, it's... It's being unblocked here, okay? There's a divine masculine coming in. Or if this is not a divine, you're becoming a teacher here because you have learned and you have mastered something at being at a high vibration. And now you're walking in your purpose here fully, okay? This is also fortune. This is bringing fortune in your life. Yeah, I told you, Princess of Swords. Something you're studying, something you have learned. This could be a Kashyyyk record as well. I feel like, some, like something very smart, with the Empress here. You learn into the law of attraction here with the Princess of Cups. You learn how to turn your emotions into power with the Three of Pentacles. This is like magic, Four of Swords. You know how to manipulate the energy here. And you know how to end people out of your life when you know, you just know. And I feel like your spirit game know these spiteful ass people don't belong. And this is why love is coming in. Stay in nature. Nature is your best friend. Earth sign, when you are grounded, you are at a high vibration when you're around nature. So stay around nature. Yeah, I told you, somebody was definitely two-faced. Yeah, you could be a tarot reader. I'm also getting somebody's a bum. Somebody's a bum. And they're in the presence of a goddess. This could even be family because I have black sheep here. And I see you. So somebody's definitely spying on you. But this could also be you peeping the bullshit. But you don't say nothing. You get what I'm saying? You just let shit just, you know, you let spirit game do what they need to do. And I also feel like you just let whatever they try to send to you, you send it back to them. And I feel like it get instantly hit on their ass. Yeah, mirror, mirror on the wall. So reflecting, you reflecting it back on them, and boom, they don't like that message. Okay, we have dolphin play. 
Swim in the happy joy of living. Inhale confidence and exhale fear. Dive into your wisdom. Go with the flow. So, like, just go with the flow of things. Everything does not have to be so serious, especially when it comes to meeting people. Just flirt, play, work smarter, not harder. You know what I mean? And just take some time to enjoy yourself. Okay, be happy and let go of fear and just know you are being guided in the right direction by your spirit game, period. Love you guys.